Welcome to this presentation by 3DH Designs. The heat exchanger market is large and is expected to grow to a value of $20 billion by 2018. Heat exchangers made with metals such as aluminum and copper are expensive to manufacture and their simple designs are limited by manufacturing techniques. Compared to metal heat exchangers, polymer heat exchangers are less expensive and increasing surface area can make up for their inferior thermal properties. Additive manufacturing, or 3D printing, is an automated technique with no tooling costs. With 3D printing, there are no limits to geometry. A future increase in the 3D printing market will open the way for mass production. In five years, the market will rise five-fold worldwide. A promising application for 3D printing is the heat exchanger market. With its pinpoint accuracy, highly complex heat exchangers can be automatically printed in a single step using cheaper materials in this emerging field. Let's take a look at the characteristics of the two categories of materials used in heat exchangers. Traditional metal is expensive and complex to manufacture. Metal also corrodes over time and exhibits a high degree of fouling. Even though it has great thermal properties, it has a large weight penalty. On the other hand, the low cost of polymers, ease of manufacturing, resistance to corrosion and fouling, coupled with its light weight, may, might make up for its lower conductivity. Finite element analysis reveals that airflow over an aluminum flat tube only results in a six-fold increase in heat transfer compared to polypropylene, even though there is a thousand times difference in conductivity. When performing a sensitivity analysis on the previous example, the heat transferred is 160 times more sensitive to changes in surface area than in conductivity. As you can see in these plots for both flat tube and cross flow heat exchangers, there is a large jump in heat transfer at any level of conductivity above zero, which makes the proportions reasonable to deal with. A composite polymer with a conductivity between 4 and 10 watts per meter kelvin would be nearly as effective as metals with conductivity in the hundreds. The reason for the small effect thermal conductivity has on heat transfer is seen in this resistance network, where air resistance is almost a thousand times more critical than the conductive resistance. To fuel your imagination, here's an example of what a 3D printed heat exchanger could look like. Features such as wavy fins and complex tube profiles are practical to print, but would not even be considered when using traditional methods. Here are our main areas of concern. Assuming conductivity is not very important, what is the limit to creating more surface area? How can we minimize weight and maximize surface area? What is the best material for 3D printing a heat exchanger? Max conductivity included? What are your primary needs and concerns with heat exchangers? We are looking for feedback, so please leave a comment. 